You know, I got involved with snowboarding just simply the fact that it was incredibly fun. You know, I grew up since I was a little kid on the mountain, and I, I didn't really find snowboarding until I was like 12. And I remember doing it the first time I strapped in and was actually able to like link two turns together. You know, that was it. I haven't skied since. And my roots are riding pow in trees. I mean, I come from Jackson Hole. Anyone that's ever been there, or I guess even heard of it for that matter, knows like what that place is about. You know, last year was the first season that I actually didn't really do any contests. I took, took off the winter and just focused primarily on working on this film. It's funny how you know, we'll go on these trips and we never really know what's gonna happen. We kind of just go down and, and do what we can. A lot of times the terrain and where you are and who you're with and what the conditions are like, like that's what dictates like where, what, and how you ride. We put ourselves in, in places to succeed, but at the end of the day, you know, we're down there and you know, you kind of take the path of least resistance and ride what's out there to ride. And sometimes it's a bust, sometimes it doesn't happen. You know, Mother Nature, like series of events um, and variables don't come together, but sometimes it does. Sometimes it's just, you know, full on. You know, since the movies come out, it, it's been a crazy couple months. Came out, you know, beginning of September. Tonight, playing down Newport, down here in SoCal. It's funny, usually we start off with a SoCal premiere. Um, our film stepped it up a notch and we you know, premiered in New York City, which was a totally badass premiere. Sold out like 3,000 seats and it was seriously humbling. It was good to be here, man. And since then, I think tonight's gonna be number 27. We did an Asia tour, went down to Australia, New Zealand, and then in two days, we actually started our European premiere tour, which we have 15 stops through Scandinavia, Europe, Eastern Europe, and Russia. And, uh, and then, then silence. I get, I get like a month until Christmas, and the snow falls, and it gets easy again. And, uh, yeah, enjoy the film, and we'll see you afterwards. Thank you so much. Indeed. Rock and roll. We'll see you later. Cheer boy. Yeah, so I guess, you know, what's next? I particularly have been working on this project called uh, the Red Bull Supernatural. I, I did an event with Quicksilver four years ago called the Natural Selection in Jackson Hole. And anyone that, you know, might have heard about it or knows about it, you know, knows that it was, it was basically an event to try to push all mountain freestyle riding. We had 18 of the world's best riders come out. You know, we had a one week waiting period and we got so hammered with snow. It happened, it was amazing, um, but we kind of pulled back because I, I feel it was still kind of the beta version of what we were trying to trying to do. So since then, we've been working on like w what's the next step for that event. You know, we spent the last couple years trying to find the perfect place to do it and ended up finding the perfect run on uh, Baldface, Baldface Cat Skiing outside of Nelson, British Columbia. So it's interior BC. Ended up hiring about 12 of the most badass British Columbian lumberjacks. Like, they're, they're badass. Well, they're arborists, is, you know, the professional term for it. They came in beginning of the summer, and I've worked about four months straight on this event, on the course, and have built over 100, like, crazy features up on this one face. It's about a mile long, the course is. It's huge. We built pillow lines, we built crazy like transfers and like pillows high up in the trees. There's there's like 100 foot gap transfers and essentially the whole like top two thirds is just the best snowboarding run in the world. We're gonna invite out probably 18 or maybe even 20 of the world's best to come have it out. You got a week waiting period, one day of contest. The best overall snowboarder prevails. Keep your eye, the Rebel Supernatural, it's gonna go off this morning. The more I travel, the more I, I realize just how massive this world is and how much there is in between. And we've been able to succeed in filmmaking and we've done a lot of amazing stuff, but really I feel like we've just, I mean, we're still kind of just scratching the surface of, of what is out there, of like what's possible on a board. And, you know, especially like freestyle integration into big mountain riding, um, I, I think it's still in its infancy.
Hey, I'm Mark McMorris. I'm 17 years old, and I've been snowboarding for about 11 years.